Hi everyone, so now we'll talk about basic styling in React Native. And guys, trust me, look and feel is really important for any kind of application. So uh, maybe you can just write a uh, strong logic and a fast application, but if look and feel and UI is not good for uh, users, then maybe uh, your application not get much potential and uh, maybe people are not interested in your application, right? So style is really important of uh, your application and your project. So first of all, I will tell you uh, the style type in React Native, which is inline, internal and external. After that, I will tell you some basic properties, which are really important for a React Native style. If you are just uh, trying to make a basic application, that time, still that time, these properties will definitely help you out, right? And in the upcoming parts, we will uh, talk about advanced style as well as React Native animations also, right? So now let's start with the first point uh, with the inline style. So this is our emulator. Here we will check our output and here we have uh, our editor. So here we will write our code. So currently you can see that we have a view and inside it we have a simple uh, text component. So uh, inline style means the style we are just putting inside our component is basically the inline style. So for example, you just want to increase the font size even that we already done in previous videos also because that is really basic and we want to just uh, see some uh, bold and bigger font there, right? So uh, font size, let's say it could be 30 and we don't need to add pixels in React Native style and style is pretty much similar with the uh, CSS like in uh, website and all. Here the difference is in CSS we basically put the hyphen or minus between font and size and here we are using camel cases and this is applied for everything like uh, for padding, margin, border and every, everywhere, right? All right. So let's say now you just want to add some color to background color to your uh, text. So let me just add there red. And uh, now let's say you want to add the uh, color to your text, which is let's say it, you can also use the uh, hexadecimal codes also, right? This is uh, like the inline style. So, so that we have the more space, I am just hiding this explorer. And let's say you just want to create some more text fields there, right? One, two, three, and four. Now, can you just see that? We are just repeating this style four times. And let's say uh, we have a uh, hundred of uh, like these texts, then everywhere we need to just repeat this uh, uh, style. And maybe uh, in one day client or someone just say that you need to change this background color. So then we need to uh, change this color in the hundred places. So this is not a feasible and a good solution. For that, what we have the better solution. We can use the internal style if we just want to change or style a single component, right? Or you can say that component in a single file. So how we can just make a, a internal style? For that, first of all, you have to import the style sheet from React Native. And now what you can do there, just take a variable, let's say styles and just create a style sheet. Style sheet dot create, not compose, create would be better. And this is basically a function that accept a JSON format, right? And here you can put any uh, property name, name like class in normal CSS. Let's say I'm putting there text box. And again, you can just simply use curly braces and put any kind of style. So again, I'm putting there, let's say font size is 25 or 20 there so that uh, and no need to add their pixels. Background color could be, let's say blue and color could be, let's say uh, white or you can simply use hash code, right? And after that, uh, you can just replace your style from there to style dot text box like this and here you can see that we got that style and you can just copy it and put it in the below text also here we go and you can add some more properties let's say you just want to put the height to your uh, uh, boxes then you can simply use the hundred or um, any property which you just want to give the height right and let's say you just want to uh, again increase the font size to 25 or whatever it will be applied on the old styles that is the beauty and let's say you just want to make some uh, space between them 
them to so that you can simply use margin bottom or margin top or even you can use the margin for uh, all side if you want to apply the margin on the top, on the all four sides right and let me put there 10 and keep in mind guys we don't need to put need to put their uh, pixel and all and after that let's say you want to just uh, uh, align your text vertically then simply use the text align vertically and simply put the property value is uh, center and with the same way text align center will be just center it horizontally perfect so now let's say you want to add the border to your uh, text boxes then just simply use the border color and uh, let's say you want to apply the red color but it will not uh, apply it because we don't have uh, the width of border so simply use the border width could be three pixel two pixel whatever you want and here you can see that right and let's say you want to just uh, make them border round then simply use the border uh, border radius yeah let's say 10 and here we go even you can use 20 30 whatever you want perfect so this is the basically uh, internal style but sometimes this is also not enough so maybe you want to uh, you need a same style in the different different components in the different different screens so what you can do that you can create a different file for style and we call it uh, external style right so even you can create a folder because we are creating only one file that's why i'm just simply creating a file so you can put any name to it let's say style.js keep in mind it should not be css it will be js and after that to just make it quick what i'm going to do i'm just copying this style inside there and one more thing uh, we have to import the style sheet from react native so just right there import style sheet from react native and if you want to change the name of it let's say external style so that uh, name should be the different right and uh, you just want to just add some properties let's say background color is green and font is white and height is let's say 100 that's okay that's fine and font size is let's say 35 to just make a difference right and now just simply apply this external style style sheet to any of the text boxes so let me just create a one more text box here and now i'm importing our external style uh, ext style this is not coming no worries because we have to just export it export default and you can simply use this exp style import exp style from uh, your file name which is styles all right and guys why we are not using these brackets because if you are just exporting as a default then you don't need to just add these uh, curly braces and if you are just uh, let's say you are exporting this uh, ex style uh, normally without default that time you need to just these brackets right all right uh, actually this question was uh, i asked in uh, previous videos so now let's say uh, on last one i just want to apply this uh, uh, ex style and the property of this uh, text box is same so i'm just saving it and here you can see that we got the green color there so this is the way that how we can use internal inline and uh, external style but you can ask one more question so let's say we want to use internal and uh, inline style on a same text or same button or same component then how we can do that the simple answer is just simple make it uh, you can see that uh, array there and you can use styles multiple styles here this is just style dot text box this is the internal and x styles dot text box this is the external and here you can see that uh, on the last one we have the combined style so can we simply uh, use the inline style also there yes you can use the inline if you just uh, put one more brackets there and let's say you just want to create the background uh, you want to just change the margin let's say right margin 
top you want to change and let me just put there 50 pixel and here we go right so uh, here you can see that the first tag is basically uh, belong to the inline after that the next three are belong to the in internal and next one is second last is basically belong to the external and in last one we just mix up the old style internal inline external and all right so that's all for this part if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box and i will request you to please subscribe my channel uh, like this video and share your feedback in the comment section thank you guys thank you so much